Good morning, everyone. Today is an even worse day than yesterday. Yesterday was sort of average in the amounts of pain that I was having, how fatigued and exhausted I was, and today is just ten times worse. I woke up an hour before I was supposed to, feeling like sludge. I literally had no strength in my body at all, and it was a task just to get out of bed. <sighs> And I, I feel awful. I have taken my paracetamol and it hasn't helped at all and it's about a half an hour since I took it. Which just sucks because that means I'm going to be in a lot of pain today. I haven't edited yesterday's vlog yet. I wasn't able to do that last night after finishing the beauty video. And I wasn't able to upload that one either because I was just not feeling well enough to... Um, Right in the description box and all of that. Come down, Lucy. Yeah, come down. I'm a little puppy. Yeah, come down. So today I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to edit um yesterday's vlog. And I want to try and clean something in my room because it's it's a mess. It's awfully messy. So I'm gonna. But I'm gonna try to put together the stool thing that I bought from Ikea that was meant to go in the bathroom but I'm gonna sit on that and try to put away some laundry because I want to move out of bed even on bad days I still want to be lying down or sitting down but I want to be out of bed um, and right now my couch is completely occupied so I'm gonna try and get all of my clothes and stuff off of there move myself in there and then just edit try to do something today it's a bad day I want to go to the grocery store today but I don't think I'm gonna be able to go before mum goes to work because I have to have her drive me um, so it's gonna be when she gets home but I need some food I run out of avocados which is what I usually eat and other stuff to put on and eat for breakfast and stuff But I have to put the camera down now because I'm in so much pain. So I'll see you. I'll see you when I do something. So I know this isn't a lot of movement. This is one of my <coughs> sorry. This is one of the tells that I'm in pain because my body starts twitching. And especially my hands do this. So some fingers will start doing this. And I'm not doing it. This is completely without me helping. But then my entire arm will start doing it and then my body will start twitching and it's just awful so I think I'm going to go back to bed for a bit. So as I said I'm having a rough day but I put it downstairs. It took me half a minute to walk down the stairs and I think it's like 14 steps so that's a long time but I can't I'm I came downstairs to grab some food. I have my glass of water upstairs, but on bad days like today, I only focus on two things really. One, which is probably the most important one, is to stay hydrated because I have a tendency to stop drinking water and stop eating food when I'm not feeling good because I get nauseous and end up in a lot of pain. And the second one is to eat, but because I'm nauseous, I can't really stomach a lot of food at the time. So it's a lot of snacking, so I just went and grabbed a banana. I usually always have some food upstairs, but my mini pantry full of usually snacks has run out. So I'm going to have to go have a look in the drawer, see if I can find anything small to bring up. And since I can't really carry anything, I just put it in a bag, carry it upstairs. Which works fine, because that bag doubles as... A trash bag when I've emptied it so it all works out but let's find some food so I didn't find all too much food and if you hear squeaking my puppy's playing with her toy but I bought up some coke zero these, these are gluten free gingerbread cookies and a banana usually when I'm not feeling good the only thing I want to eat is chocolate and chicken nuggets which aren't the healthiest of options so I have some coke zero to sort of satisfy that sugary need that I want and fruit as well to again satisfy that craving for sugar 
doubt I'm gonna have chicken nuggets for dinner today though, mm. but I I don't know. I'm gonna go out grocery shopping with mum and, and I buy my own groceries because of my food restrictions. There is a chance that I might have a drive with me to McDonald's so that I can have my chicken nuggets, but and I haven't had McDonald's in a while. I had Burger King when we went home from Carta Centro, which was the rehabilitation place. I had that on the train. But I haven't had McDonald's in over a month. <laughs> Probably almost two. And I'm craving chicken nuggets. So, we'll see. But I'm gonna snack on that today. I'm gonna have mum make me lunch. I think there's a pizza baguette left. I might have that before she goes to work. And then I'll go to bed. <laughs> sleep until someone comes home probably because I feel awful and just to give you an idea I would like a 0 to 10 scale pain wise I am daily at around a 5 and I can manage it up to a 7 today we're at 8 bordering 9 which is excruciating if you couldn't guess and I struggle holding my phone um, if I could I would have placed it on something but since it's not got any flat sides it just wiggles and falls off so I have to hold it which is why I only film in short intervals so it was a struggle carrying the bag with those three items up and they're not really heavy but I'm just not feeling good and exhaustion and fatigue although I feel alert like my brain is turned on I can process things in a relatively normal time because usually when I'm really really bad it feels like everything is moving in slow motion I'm not quite there today which is good because that is the worst feeling in the world um, so I am awake and alert but I'm so exhausted and on a 0 to 10 scale daily again I'm at a 5 at about everything which is not good and not fun but I'm at a 7 and I just want to go to bed. So I'm going to eat. Continue watching YouTube. I'm going to try to finish the edit of last last week's. Yesterday's vlog. And I'll just. I don't know what I'm going to do today honestly. It's time for Harry Potter. So I was able to take little puppy out for a small walk to get the post. So I ended up getting my nuggets for dinner. I also went to the grocery store and picked up some other groceries as well. So. I'm really, really hungry. So I just went to the grocery store and picked up a ton of packages. Well, there was three, but they were all from Colourpop. And she was playing. She had an, her eye on this. Not this eyeshadow, but where is it? Which one is it? One of the eyeshadows, because I ordered a lot of the pressed, this one is it, um, the Colourpop pressed powder shadows, because I have, I bought this one a little while ago with the intention to fill it up, um, and now I have bought some shadows to fill it up, uh, but she was playing with the colour poodle, and she's a poodle, and I bought this, um, more so because I actually own a poodle than because I love the shade because I used to love pink eyeshadows uh, not so much anymore unfortunately but I do want to get more into colour this year so I have bought a couple and she's just in a really playful mood right now so I was planning on putting all of them in here so I'll probably show you afterwards so I have just taken all of them out of the packaging and I'm not sure if this is how it is going to stay, but this is how I'm currently organising it. And I just swatched the colours and I'm in love. I also picked up the concealer in the um, two lightest shades, so the white one and the next one, which isn't white. And I think they're going to match me. They look very, very pale. I'm not planning on using the white one just as a straight up concealer. You can see them here. Um, but I have the issue with a lot of products because I am so fair, or pale if you want, um, I struggle with finding a shade that's going to work for me, so it's going to be nice to have it to mix, and I also have the Kat Von D one, and I want to try them up against each other to see which one I like best, but the top one is the coloured one, it's in Fair O. Two. I have tried these ones before um, when they first launched. I picked up the 
lightest sh shade then and that was way too dark and oxidized on me these have been on my hand for a couple of minutes now um, blended out and everything and they look really really nice I think this, these are going to work great but I'm really happy with the eyeshadows as I said I do sorry for the blinding thing in there I do want to start experimenting more with colour and stuff this year for makeup because I do love playing with it so I have I'm touching the shadow there this is the shade Poodle that Lucy was playing with earlier and I actually like it a lot it is the one in the middle on the second row there and I also love that bright orange, it's beautiful and that blue. But my favourite one is this one, which is called, I think it is Team Captain. Yep. And this one, which is Paper Tiger, I think the beautiful. And I decided to do all of the mattes on top and the shimmers on the bottom because there weren't as many shimmers. And this is going to work out well for now. But it's probably going to be rearranged whenever I buy some new ones which aren't going to be anytime soon but will still be within this year. So I had a rough morning that you probably saw um, but I got a lot better in the afternoon. I was able to go grocery shopping which was nice and I ended up having McDonald's for dinner which was also pretty good satisfying that chicken nugget craving and it's been about two months since I had it so I wasn't feeling all too bad about it picked up my packages which ended up being two trips to the grocery store because um, I had one of the notices because I get them on my phone um, when the first one arrived and then um, when we got home after having been home for a little bit sorry uh, I ended up getting two texts right after each other and there was two more packages so it was nice to have them all I'm still waiting on one from Amazon which is I ordered some pens and I want to check the tracking thing and they say it's been lost in the mail. So I'm going to have to send them an email or something. I've never had to do that before uh, to see where it is. But I feel worn out right now, but pretty happy with what I was able to accomplish today. And just from changing into something that was in pyjamas, because I've been walking around in pyjamas for like three days, it felt so nice. Um, and I was able to walk the dog. Um... It was really nice just getting back to myself a little bit. I hate being stuck in bed because it feels like I can't do anything and I can't do anything. Uh, so it was nice to actually do something but I am going to take it easy and go to bed. It's about 9 o'clock I think. 9.20 so it's a bit later than I thought. Um, Take my medicine. I've taken three paracetamols today which is the maximum thing I'm allowed because paracetamol in large quantities over a, a long period of time can damage your liver and I've been taking paracetamol for pretty much six years straight uh, to take care of my pain so I, I'm gonna have to ask for something stronger because earlier this morning I did not do anything but I'm having some period cramps like pre-period cramps I get them like a couple of days before my period starts and it's awful um, and it's taken care of that pretty well but I still need something stronger for when I'm in so much pain I can't move and I just, I need more help, basically. But I'm going to sign off for tonight. I am pretty exhausted, understandably. Um, but feeling very happy about what I did today. Tomorrow's probably going to be a lot of resting. I am going to try and get up and out of bed. And into something that isn't pyjamas. Because that helps mentally. And sometimes I feel like that's just a good thing. If that's the only thing I can accomplish, then... That's a thumbs up, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.